Welcome back to my channel. Now I've just finished a workout, as you can see I'm all sweaty. And I think a lot of people don't pay enough attention to stretching and making sure that everything is nice and loosey-goosey after you've done a workout. So, thought I'd run through a 20 minute stretch where we focus on all of the different areas in the body or the ones that you can in 20 minutes. So follow along with me and we're gonna have a nice little stretch. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna stretch out our calves. So we're gonna go into a bit of a downward dog position and we're gonna go onto one leg and we're going to stretch out the back of that leg. You'll feel it from your heel all the way up into the backs of your leg. Some people might find this in their um, hamstring a little bit, but just hold it there and we're going to go just on this side. We can take it down a little bit further, but just try and keep your heel on the ground. That's the most important part of this. You can take it side to side if you need to. We're going to hold each side for 30 seconds and we're going to go on to the other side. So switch your legs, keep the other heel right pinned down to the ground and just breathe through the parts where you feel it, which is going to be all the way down through here. Deep breaths, breathing into the stretch, just holding it here until you reach the top. Okay, now the next one is going to have a couple of variations. You can either stretch your hamstrings out like so, or you have one leg bent and standing up, or how I'm going to do it is on your back and holding one leg. If you've got a towel, you can use a towel to reach. You can hold down here, you can hold all the way up here, but you just need to hold the leg and pull it towards you. If you're in the standing position, that's great too. You're going to get just as good a stretch. Stretching is catered to different people depending on what level of flexibility that you have. So you're gonna hold here again, 30 seconds each side, stretching out your hamstrings. If you've got your toe flex, you'll feel it quite, you could feel it quite nervy going all the way down through here. Don't push so much that it's like, oh my goodness, this really, really hurts. Just feel the stretch and breathe into it. Change sides. You'll feel the stretch, and that's a good thing. You don't wanna overstretch. You just wanna feel it, know where your body's limits are, so you can stay here and just breathe. And then the more that you do these stretches, the more flexible you'll get, the easier the stretches will become. Okay, so we have three more seconds and rest. So the next thing we're gonna do is a quad stretch. So we're gonna lay it on our side and you're going to grab the ankle of the top leg on the side and you're gonna pull back your foot, off we go, uh, and stretch out the front of that leg. Try and really squeeze and engage your glutes so that you're protecting your back. And you can use your arm anywhere you like here to make sure that you stay balanced. But just keep holding that for a nice 30 seconds. This may feel like a long time and it may feel really slow, but this workout, well it's not really a workout, this stretch is designed to try and just be a little bit of peace and tranquility. Okay, next side. Same thing, switch over and stretch out the other leg. Breathing into where you feel stretch, making sure your glutes are engaged, using your hands to balance wherever you need it. Continuing to breathe. Okay, and rest there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up into a kind of like a 1990 position and we're going to stretch our hip flexors. So we're going to go from here and we're going to keep our glutes squeezed. Try and open up the eye of your hip here. So really feel like it's as long and as open as it possibly can be through the front. You don't have to collapse into it with your back like this. Just squeeze your glutes and try and be, and try and just open through here as much as you possibly can. Breathe into it. If you want a slightly deeper stretch, lift your arm up and reach over to one side and you'll feel it even more all the way through your hips. And we're holding it here for a few more seconds. Breathing into it and then we'll change sides. Pick your other leg up. Again, squeezing those glutes, opening up the front of your hip, breathing into where you feel stretch. Squeezing those glutes. 
Try not to collapse in your back. Be nice and tall and squeezing in those glutes. Again, if you want a deeper stretch, arm up, lift over to the side that your knee is up with. Okay, and rest. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is a glute stretch. So we're gonna be in this position and we're gonna switch our one leg on top of the other, like so. And if you find that one, if you find this a bit of a diff, too much of a difficult position to get into, you can lay down and just put your hands through like this and you'll feel a stretch in your glutes. It really is depending on how much of a flexible body you have. And we're just gonna hold here for 30 seconds each leg. Breathing in and breathing out and taking as much time as you need to get into a comfortable position. Everyone is gonna feel slightly different in these stretches because everyone has a different body. And we're changing sides, making sure that you keep your foot flexed and engaged so that it protects your knee, so everything is tight. Well, not tight because we're stretching, but everything is not gonna snap. <laughs> okay, so we have 10 seconds left here. Breathing into where you feel the stretch. And rest. Okay, now we are going to do an abductor stretch. So we're gonna kind of be in like a side lunge position. We're gonna feel it all the way down our inner thigh. If you find that difficult, you can be up here if you need to be. You can be here, or you can be all the way down here, but just try and keep your feet on the ground. And you'll feel it all the way through this side. You might feel it on the other side too, but just try it and stay there. Again, if you need to be here, great. As long as you're feeling the stretch, everyone is gonna feel a slightly different stretch at a different point. So do what is good for you. And hold it here. And we are about to change sides in three, two, one, switch sides. Ooh. For me, this is a really good stretch. And for some reason, this really opens up my back. It allows me to feel really, I don't know, after I've had a stretch out, it just gets, sets me up so much differently for the rest of the day. I don't feel tight, I don't feel sore, and I don't feel like I'm hobbling around. So this is a great way to start your day, if you can. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is a frog stretch where you take your knees out to the side, like so. I'm actually gonna show you from the side. Uh, your legs out of this, and you're gonna feel the stretch again through your adductors, and you're gonna come down onto your elbows, like so, and you're just gonna stretch out your inner thighs, but both at the same time. You might need to put something underneath your knees to, if it's a little bit uncomfortable, but you go as far as you can, as far as you need to. You can rock, experiment with rocking backwards and forwards a little bit, just to see where you feel the stretch most. I'm going to just breathe here for, the full, for a full minute. Just let your body relax so that your inner thighs stretch out, let gravity do the work, just breathe. Thing we're gonna do if anybody does yoga is a pigeon stretch so what we're gonna do is have one foot out the front of your mat and you're gonna create like a little right angle with your leg and come down into where your leg is long behind you and your leg is bent at the front and we're gonna be twisting just staying forwards again some people might have more of a bend in their legs some people might be more at a right angle just do what feels good for you, but just making sure that you're keeping your foot flexed at the front to engage and make sure that your knee is well protected. Again, some people might be up here and that might all be what they can do. Some people might not even be able to get all the way down into the stretch. Just do what is good for you. You can put your hands on the floor. Some people might be able to get onto their elbows and some people might be able to come all the way down and just rest. Just try and find a moment of peace. And where's comfortable for you? For me, this is comfortable. I'm feeling a stretch, but nothing that is causing me to be too uncomfortable. I'm still able to be here and talk and just feel like I can, yeah, if you can't hold a conversation because you're in so much pain, you've gone too far. Okay, right, we're gonna switch to the other side. 
same thing. Go to where you feel is comfortable. You might be able to start the stretch up here and then slowly work your way down to where you can stretch a little bit stronger. If you're feeling quite a strong stretch, just breathe into where you feel that stretching. This is trying to regulate your breathing, will allow your body to relax and your muscles to relax and your muscles to be able to get the full stretch that they need. So you're going to bring one leg over the top to one side and then the way that you've got your leg, you're going to reach the other arm the other way. So you're twisting out your body and you're just laying here, letting gravity pull you down. Don't try and over twist, don't try and over exaggerate any movement, just let gravity pull you down. And I'm going to stay here for the full minute, just breathing in, breathing out, letting gravity Pull your body down. And we are about to switch sides to other, in three, two, one, okay, rest, shake your legs out a little bit, and then we're gonna switch over to the other side, and again, we're gonna stay here for another minute. Let your body rest, let your body recover, whether you've just done a workout, whether you're just here to stretch, let your body rest, let gravity do the work, notice where your body feels tight, notice what is different to the other side. For me, this side is tighter, my knee is much higher up. I feel like it's tight through my glute and my hip on this side. So I'm just gonna let gravity, <clears throat> let my leg fall down, my shoulders fall towards the ground, my head in the opposite direction to the knee that is bent, and breathe. thing we're going to do are some pec stretches. So we're going to be on the floor, you're going to have one arm out and you're going to twist over to one side and feel the stretch through your pec. Now you can do this on the floor or you can do this up against a railing or a wall or whatever it is as long as you're feeling the stretch through your pecs. Breathe into it again. You can experiment with being your hand a little bit higher or a little bit lower. You'll feel it in different parts of your pec. Change sides. Feeling it all the way through my pec just here. You can do it with a straighter arm or a bent arm. You can experiment to where you feel like you're getting the most stretch. Different people have different parts of their pet that is tighter than others. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come up into a kneeling position or a sitting position, whichever is more comfortable for you. And we're going to cross one arm in front of the other and stretch out the front of our, well, our shoulders just here. We're going to do 30 seconds each side. You want to bend your arm a little bit, you feel like you're reaching out and around. Some people feel a bit more stretched that way. I personally feel a bit more stretched when my arm is straighter, but 
each to their own. Again, when you go through a stretching class and you go through something that everybody's body is different, people will feel different stretches in different ways, to different intensities, depending on how you do it, how what you've done before. My body feels different every single day, so doing something that just fits for you is really important when it comes to stretching. I'm gonna change sides. Stop blabbering my jaws. Go. Breathe. Breathe into that stretch, and every time you do a breath, try and build that stretch a little bit deeper. And now we're going into an assisted shoulder stretch. Now I have my sofa here to rest on. So what we're gonna do, you put your hands onto the, shop, the sofa and just put your head down and you will feel a stretch opening up through like your armpits, all the way through there. It will just give you a bit of, if that's quite an intense stretch, you can always just go to the floor into this kind of position. Stretch and feel like an opening up through your armpit while you're here. Just breathe into it. You can rock side to side so you can feel it stronger in certain parts. Again, do what feels good for your body right now. You might feel it a little bit through your thoracic. Try and reach your chest forwards. Opening up everywhere you can. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a tricep stretch. So we're gonna bring one hand up, we're gonna bend it, bring the other one up and pull it across. Okay, so here we go. Bend it across, we're gonna do 30 seconds each side. Again, if you find this quite easy, you can rotate over. Some people might feel a stretch as soon as they get to here and they don't really have to put it and pull it too much. But some people might not. So just pull to where you feel this tricep stretch. And the tricep is the back of your arm here. Chin, nice and neutral. And again, breathe into that stretch. We are going to switch sides, hand up, bend it, other hand across and pull your elbow. Yeah. Okay, just breathe into it. Thing we're going to do is a neural neck stretch. So you're going to stretch your hand out here where your hand's going to be, where your neck's going to be like this, and then it's going to come in like this. And we're going to do 30 seconds on each side. So when your hand is out straight, your toe, your finger's facing away, you're going to be, your neck's going to be in the same direction. And then when your hand comes into bend, your neck's going to go the other way. And slowly alternate like so. You'll feel a bit of a neural stretch but it won't feel too intense because if you were to reach the other way like that, that's when it becomes really intense. And then the other side. So, neck to the left, hand out to the left. Neck to the right, hand to the right. It's a great way of stretching out your nerves without playing too much, putting too much strain on them and It'll really loosen off your neck if you're someone that struggles with neck pain or waking up in the morning with a stick, stiff, stiff neck, stiff neck. And rest. Okay, so now to finish off with, we're at the top of our body already. So we're going to do some neck stretches. So we're going to do 20 seconds forwards, 20 seconds to each side. So just gently, very, very, I stress very gently. Just feel like you're tractioning your head a little bit and you're pulling the crown of your head up and over. So it's not just pulling it down, it's going up and over and you'll feel a stretch through your neck, maybe through into your thoracic. Just try and pull your head up and across. Now we're going to go hand here and we're going to go to one side like so, but very gently. It's not, stretching isn't about being really aggressive, it's about feeling it 
knowing where your limits are and just relaxing into it without pushing it too far. Because stretching should be an enjoyable experience. To the other side. Breathing into it. Relaxing that shoulder down. Feeling the stretch all the way through the side of your neck. You might not even need to pull on your neck too much. And rest. We stretched our whole body in different parts and there are so many different stretches that you can do, obviously for so many different parts of your body. But in 20 minutes there, we tried to cover so many different areas. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this was a bit, you know, slower pace than some of my workouts and some of my things that I usually do on my channel, but sometimes you just need to strip it back and make sure that you are stretching out properly. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll come back and do it after some other workout that you do very soon. So make sure you share this with a friend, comment below if you want me to target any particular areas and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.